If you are waking up this morning and heading out the door, you can expect some pleasant temperatures, but we are keeping our eye on something. So what's up, Michael? Yeah, we've got severe weather to talk about for January the 2nd. Not wintry weather, but spring like severe storms possible later this afternoon and this evening. I think the main impacts we're looking at here, wind and hail potential. Wind gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour. Hail up to about an inch and a half in diameter. Tornado threat will exist as well. I do think it'll be higher the farther south and east you go into the region. Flooding not going to be as much of a concern, but we'll get some locally heavy rain out of these storms, but I don't think it'll be enough to cause any major flooding issues. Speaking of that tornado potential again, there is at least uh, some potential in the metro. We're not out of the woods in Tulsa, but the odds are going to be a little bit higher for that uh, threat as you go farther to the south and to the east. I would not be surprised if we did get a couple tornado warnings later this afternoon and this evening with some of the storms that do happen to develop, but I don't think we're looking at a major tornado outbreak type uh, system, at least for us here locally. Farther south, though, into parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, East Texas, that tornado threat will be even higher there. For us, our severe threat is going to increase uh, early to mid-afternoon and then uh, move out later on this evening. Tulsa's window probably highest between about 3 to 6 o'clock, and then once we go through the evening hours, main uh, area storms will push off to the east of Tulsa, probably clearing eastern Oklahoma by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, so I do think it'll be out of here pretty quickly uh, later on this evening and tonight. We don't have to worry about storms hanging on through the overnight hours. We're already seeing the fuel for these storms increase this morning. This is the view here from our South Tulsa cam and we've got a lot of low clouds across the region. You step outside right now in Tulsa, you can feel the mugginess to the air. That Gulf of Mexico moisture has been working its way northward during the overnight and out of this there might even be a few sprinkles or perhaps some patchy drizzle as well as all that moisture streams northward. So through midday we'll leave an isolated chance of a shower or perhaps a little bit of patchy drizzle around but not expecting anything significant. Two areas that we're watching for early afternoon will be here to the north and west of Tulsa and to the south. That's where we'll likely see storms initiate early to mid afternoon. Then the coverage will increase as we go through mid to late afternoon and early evening. And then as we continue through the evening hours, that threat will continue to push its way to the east. And as mentioned earlier, probably 9 to 10 o'clock tonight, clearing eastern Oklahoma. Once this system moves through, we're going to cool it down the rest of the week, but still pleasant highs in the 50s. These Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday could be back up to near 60 on Friday and then a cooler system moves in Saturday and Sunday going to knock those temperatures down back into the 40s, a little bit closer to average for this time of year. We'll get a look at the 10 day forecast coming up in the next half hour.